Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Brad Crumming in Live Attraction. Someone had asked me to do a, sto- a show about this a while back, and I was like, huh, okay, let's dig into it and check out what this whole breadcrumbing concept's about. And I realized, oh my gosh, there's a lot to this. And I think, uh, I think breadcrumbing is an amazing technique. So let's talk about breadcrumbing as a technique. And I see it, I guess, from a couple different standpoints. One, manifestation. So when we're trying to create something, we're living in the end. Maybe it's a bit of a complex manifestation. Maybe it's a, a long-term relationship. Maybe it's a, a wedding day, right? So a lot of little things have to happen along the way. Well, sometimes maybe I'm trying to manifest a marriage with Joanne. And then, you know, right now, Joanne text messages me and just says, Hey, Dan, I was just thinking about you. Want to say hi? And I'm like, Oh my God, like that's so a neat little breadcrumb kind of manifestation. So it's kind of similar. People call it, I think, a lot of different nicknames, birds before land. It can be uh, also contrast sometimes when your friend, not contrast really, but when your friend is manifesting the relationship and it's not quite you yet. In my mind, that's still like close. It's still a, it's still really breadcrumbs, right? Like it's something. It's something on the way. In my mind, we can disagree. We can agree, but it's not just the manifesting it that way. It's when some of us maybe have those moments where we have doubts, we have fears, we have reasons that we are wondering why we're trying to manifest what we're trying to manifest. We we're having a hard time believing in it, so we keep asking ourselves questions throughout the day. We we keep challenging it. We keep like saying, "Is this really going to occur? Is this really possible? Am I really good enough? Am I too fat? Am I too whatever? Am I too unhappy? Am I what what is going on? Obviously, it's us pushed out because some of the guru stuff that everybody says out there. It's you pushed out. You don't love yourself enough, and blah blah blah." And, you know, yes, it is all those things. But what does that really mean when you're in the heart of it? One of the things that can help a lot is the thing that you've been imagining, that you're manifesting, this uh, marriage, for example, or this first date, for example. Maybe it's a first date. Let's make it simpler. You want to go out on a first date with Johnny. You want him to, you know, obviously ask you out take you out to see some sort of cool movie, the new X-Men movies coming out, or maybe the new whatever movies coming out, Marvel movie, something, I don't know, whatever. And you want him to take you. So you're manifesting that, you're putting it together, but right now he's got a girlfriend, and uh, she, he's, not, he's not accepting offers, if you will. He won't even talk to you. So when you keep trying to imagine you guys together at this movie, you keep having a hard time, you keep having doubts, they keep inside your head. And it's making it difficult. Obviously, it's putting on the handbrake because you keep thinking about negative things. You keep focusing in a negative direction. You keep focusing on what you're afraid of. You keep spending time on your focusing in places that is not going to benefit you. In fact, quite the opposite. So breadcrumbing can be used to kind of go, okay, well, let's, let's actually kind of break this down into something that's a little easier maybe. He has been arguing back and forth with her. I saw their body language was weird. She had her back all turned to him and was kind of making that pouty face. And he was busy talking to his friends. He was ignoring her. So maybe something's going on, right? It's like, so you start trying to imagine just the the more signs of the, the relationship falling apart, maybe with this particular person. Maybe you start to imagine that she gets interested in somebody else. Like you start to imagine uh, a breadcrumb that gets you moving in the direction you want to go but it is a a smaller step in belief, a smaller step in logic. It's something that you definitely believe could happen, whether you have anything to do with it or not, whether your imagining has any power whatsoever or not, this other scenario is kind of easier to buy into. It's easier to believe. All right, we'll take that step that way. And people have asked, well, Dan, what, what, what am I supposed to, Stop thinking about the thing and imagining living from the end. No, no, you keep doing that. Really. I mean, at the moment, no. If you're having a lot of doubts at the second, no. But in general, yes, keep doing it. Tomorrow, do it, sure. Right this second, no. Right now, breadcrumb it a little. Bring it in a little. Make it something smaller. Make it, what, what's something that you could, we did the what if show not long ago, which is another technique I'm really, really fond of. I just thought that was super cool. What is something that you can believe? Like, what if he did break up with her? What if he got in a fight and they yelled at each other in front of a bunch of people. What if he was no longer interested and he like said, I broke up and now we're done. Or what if you hear from a friend that they've broken up? Or what if you hear from a friend that knows them very well, that they're having problems in their relationship? Like what's that morsel 
that you can find, that you can bite onto, that you can go, yeah, no, I can believe that. I can totally believe that he's going to text me. I can totally believe that after he gets done with this fight, he's going to reach out and be like, I can't believe it. I know I've, I know we've gotten back together seven times now, but I swear this is the last one, right? Like, and you're like, all right, I knew this was coming. Or whatever your particular scenario is. I don't know why this is where my mind's at at the moment. It is, whatever. These are different scenarios that we can sometimes breadcrumb our way past the things that are holding us back, a lot of the times the beliefs, like I said, maybe they're currently in a relationship. Maybe uh, there's someone has to quit for you to get that job. Maybe that amount of money seems just out of control to make right now. Maybe like, you know, you're barely making anything and making a million dollars a year is a giant leap. So maybe that's a big step. It helps when there's a belief gap. I've talked about it before in other shows too, where sometimes you got to reel in your belief or reel in your manifestation a little bit, still kind of hold the direction and focus, but maybe maybe that's your five-year plan and you need something that's a little more of an 18-month plan, if you will. Something that's a little cl- your teeth into and be like, I seriously don't see how I'm ever going to get to the East Coast from the West Coast to the United States if I just keep walking that way. I just can't believe it. But if I say, well, no, I know, that's ridiculous. It's not even possible. But what you could do, you could probably get to the end of this county in like a day or two and then we'll see what happens. Let's have a chit chat about it and see what about the next county. And you're like, all right, I can get to the next county. I can do that. I mean, that's a long walk, but I could do it. It's about taking it and getting it into that little bit of a morsel that you can do something with. Now, one thing that's also kind of good to keep in mind, this is sort of a caveat that I kind of came to me when I was when I was thinking about this. So if I get a breadcrumb, say, say I've manifested a breadcrumb, or, or say I'm having struggles and, and difficulties believing in this outcome that I'm trying to manifest, right? But so I, I did finally manifest a breadcrumb because this technique does work. It's a beautiful technique. So you've done this, you've played with it, and you're standing on that new breadcrumb. You're in that new area. You're that much closer to your manifestation. You just got that text message. You just got him to say hi to you at work. You just got him to send you a letter, send you an email, call you on WhatsApp, whatever. I don't know, whatever you do. Liked your uh, particular Instagram post or something. You finally accomplished that. From that place now, where this reality is new and this thing you have, you didn't just moments ago, now you do. How much further can you see from here? What new, what new breadcrumb might be before you again you're still holding on to the end result still trying to get to that wedding day or the first date or whatever particular scenario right but what's the next breadcrumb what is believable from here what is something that you can agree to in your own mind that's doable as you make these baby steps breadcrumb steps closer and closer towards your end result, even though there's never an ending. I don't like thinking of it that way. But towards your goal, towards your manifestation, towards your person, towards love, towards a new car, a new house, a new life. As you take these steps towards it, things will start to make more sense. Things will start to come into focus that maybe weren't before. Use each breadcrumb step or stage as a new vantage point, and see it as that. Remember when you're there that this is what it is. Be mindful of the fact that you are, yes, inching your way forward, center meter, metering your way forward, but you're getting there. And so what? Maybe you were looking many feet or a meter down the road, and now you're having to pull that back a little bit and break it into a smaller unit you're still working towards it. So don't worry about, but that's, but no, 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 don't worry. Yeah, that's where you're going. You're going to get to the end of that, that meter stick. You're going to get there, but you've got 47 more centimeters to go. So let's just take another centimeter at a time. What's the next centimeter? Let's do it. Let's take that next increment and make our way down there because ultimately, this will turn around and make what's in your mind right now as impossible. It'll make it possible. Not necessarily right up front. It still might seem impossible. Don't forget it. Remember where you're going. 
take the possible steps along the way. But as you start get further and further down the road and you start looking back at all the things you've accomplished and all the little centimeters you've gone, and you look ahead at the next 36 centimeters and you realize, I can totally get there. And it's almost like at that point, you almost don't need the breadcrumbs as much anymore as you start to appreciate them coming as they come. Like as you're manifesting what it is you're creating, you're going to see more and more breadcrumbs. And it goes from necessarily manifesting the breadcrumb to seeing the manifestation of the breadcrumb as you progress forward. It's why I think it's important to hold on to where you're going. You know, I don't want you to just manifest breadcrumbs. You can, but it's more an issue of manifesting breadcrumbs on the way towards the goal. And that's really the point of the breadcrumb technique is to breadcrumb your way towards your goal, not just manifest a breadcrumb instead of the actual piece of bread. No, the crumbs will lead you to the slice or the loaf. Oh, God, the glorious loaf. Mm, right? The loaf could be right around the corner. And just to say one other thing on this, when you get to the breadcrumb, Sometimes it's not what you thought it would be. Sometimes it's not as glorious as you thought it might be. Sometimes you don't enjoy it as much as you thought you would. Understand that you can sometimes redefine things. So when you get to that breadcrumb, and you can see a little bit further ahead, you can always change your mind and say, no, I don't need to go any further. I'm pretty sure this is not the direction I want to go. Because maybe with each breadcrumb, you get a smaller little piece of something that's like, ah, yeah, I've just seen he treats people really horribly. He's not a very nice person. Like, I thought he was, but I've actually seen him now on four different occasions actually kind of belittle people, right? Like, now all of a sudden you're like, ooh, no, 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 maybe I'm attracting an old person that I used to and it's not time, right? Like, that's where the self-love we talk about frequently comes into play. Like, is this really the right type of thing for me? Maybe... I need to redefine. Again, I said it last only because for those that can't hear that, which, yeah, don't. For those that are at that place in their life where you're not sure, breadcrumbs are another way to find those answers. That's also one of the cool things about it. You get that much closer. You take a smaller, more believable step. And now again, if you've got this tarnished view and they're horrible and they're this and they're that, well, that's kind of not helping you out and that's certainly holding you back but if you have all the beliefs and all the intentions but as you get closer and closer you start to uncover things sometimes i don't know i've had experiences i don't know sometimes people uh were different than i had them built up in my mind to be and you know you get close enough and sometimes you know people skeletons come out some some of us are monsters on the inside and some of us are angels on the inside too and uh, so, you know, you never know. Sometimes what you're getting is a little different. Hopefully all this makes a big difference for you guys and uh, kind of gets you moving in that direction, taking these baby steps, taking these uh, little breadcrumb steps, if you will, and uh, enjoying them each and every uh, step they come. Because, yeah, maybe a smaller step, again, it's that centimeter versus more than that. Hopefully this makes a big difference for all you guys out there. These breadcrumb steps can be a huge difference in our belief cycles and how we kind of rationalize and, and work through what's happening to us. It gives us a chance sometimes when maybe before there wasn't because we couldn't get over that mental stumble, that mental block. And this is a way to get around some of the obstacles. And maybe sometimes it's like, all right, I have to get over that wall. Maybe if I take a couple steps back, and then run, I might be able to jump up and kind of crawl and get a little bit further, maybe actually get over this thing. Or maybe you realize there's a whole different way by taking a couple steps back. Now, all of a sudden, you've got a different vantage point, and you realize, oh, my God, there's this thing hanging down over here. I could take advantage of that. There's always a way. Sometimes the breadcrumb just helps you get close enough to make a difference. Appreciate you guys for joining me. It's Dan Radio Style.